Hi guys, this is Kiran. Uh, in this series, we'll be doing part modeling of screw jack with assembly and section drawing. Now we'll be starting with the screw jack drawing sheet. We'll go one by one. Uh, I'll do an individual video for each part as it takes a lot of time. First, we'll be doing the body of the screw jack in this video. Okay, so here is the body of the screw jack. Let me zoom in. Okay, so first we'll go to solid edge. Click on solid part. Now we'll go to sketch. Okay, it moved down. Just a second. Okay, we'll go to sketch. We'll select the front plane that is exit plane. So now we'll have a look at the drawing what details are there to to be able to do this part we should use the revolved protrusion option we have to draw the hashed section into our mm, sketch sheet so we'll do that now so we'll just draw the outline first and then dimension it out later so we'll just go through the outline it goes this way okay I'm referring to my machine drawing book here. I'm not seeing the image. So we'll start from the base. I'll zoom out. Uh, I'll have my base on the X axis. So that will be easier for me later. So what I'll do is I'll start from here. I'll go this direction. Up. Not, okay, I'll just do it. I won't talk for a bit. Okay, so I have my basic shape ready. I've just made it a bit big. Okay, so this is my basic shape, which is there. So now we'll dimension it. The first dimension what we'll take is the outer diameter of the base, that is 140. <clears throat> so since I'm doing half of the section, I'll do it 70, which is 140 by 2. So I got 70 there. The inner is 100, so it becomes 50. I'll again do 100 by 2. Uh, next one, what we'll do is, we'll do the height of it. The total height of it is given as 185 from top edge to the bottom edge. So, okay, sorry. Just, okay, now we'll be doing the height. That is 185. I'll take it, I'll move it this way. 185. Okay, so it's a bit long. As I told you, the dimension in the first sketch doesn't matter. We'll be doing it now. So now the next one is okay, the top one outer die is 70 and the inner die is 50. So I'll do that now. I'll select the outer edge. This will be 70 by 2. The inner one is 50 by 2. 50 by 2, that is 25. Okay, so again we have that. Now, this height is given as 40. So, I'll do that now. 40 and 1. Now, you can see, it's we are getting the basic shape. It went out of alignment. I'll just move it here. No problem, don't worry if something like that happens. Once we get through all the dimensions, it should look exactly the same. The next thing is, you can see the 66 from this edge, that is this corner, that should be 66. So I'll select this line and I'll select the center axis. I'll do it 66 by 2, that is 33. Okay. Now, as you can see, these two lines are parallel. So what we can do is you can select the parallel relationship constraint. We can select both the lines. Now you can see that parallel now. Okay, we'll go to the next one. The next one is you can see this is 100 from this corner to the center should be 50. 
so I'll do that now from this corner to the center should be 100 by 2 so that is 50 now I'll see what else is left so we are done this 100 we are done the 140 we are okay now we'll do this 20 so this should be 20 mm I'm using smart dimension to dimension everything we, we can use this distance angle or any other dimensions if you want the next one is okay as you can see the small gap here is 3 mm I'll do that now I'll just zoom in from here till here should be 3 mm okay we got it now I think the last one remaining is 10 mm between the parallel lines as you can see now we can't get a parallel uh, dimension anywhere so what I'll do is I'll just ta take the line tool I'll just draw a line in between those two now what I'll do is I'll select this perpendicular relationship I'll make one of them perpendicular okay wait it's already perpendicular let me show it to you again I'll delete this I'll just draw a random line between the two lines now I'll select perpendicular relationship and then I'll make them perpendicular now you can see it's perpendicular now you can set this distance as 10 mm using smart dimension and this line so you can make it 10 mm now you can see the exact shape of the screw jack section is obtained now what we have to give is this fillet here this fillet here and the small fillet that we can do by two methods I'll show both the methods in this uh, video first we'll do this in the sketch itself this should be radius 8 what we can do is we select the fillet option here it's fillet and chamfer we'll select the fillet option make radius 8 mm and then we can select this corner so we get a fillet of 8 mm there and as you can see here they are not mentioned the dimension of these two fillets that can be found in the drawing details they have mentioned that unless otherwise stated Ra uh, fillet radii should be 1 so this and this should be 1 mm fillet I'll show the other method also now first what we'll do is we'll just do it the normal way I'll select fillet 1 mm I'll select this corner the other one I'll show you later how to do this part I'll show you how to do it later okay now the basic sketch is done what we'll do is we'll return from the sketch now we have our sketch here just a second i'll move it aside okay it's not going there okay let it be let it sit there okay this is fine for me okay now we have our sketch here what we'll do is now we have to revolve this so okay to uh, do a revolve protrusion we need an axis we don't have an we don't have an axis right now so we'll have to edit the sketch so go to the select tool click on sketch and then this button here is edit profile or else what you can do is right click and then you can do edit profile so I'll have to draw the axis now I'll just take the line tool and on the center I'll just draw line dimension doesn't matter but it should be in the center so I'll just return from sketch now as you can see I have my axis and my profile so I'll select revolve protrusion this option should always be select from sketch make sure it's on select from sketch now I'll select the profile which has to be revolved as you can see I have not selected the small line here now click on next now it's saying click on a line in the sketch to be used as the feature axis so I'll select the line about which it should be revolved so now as you can see it's coming now you can do it two ways now you can type in 360 degrees here or else what you can do is you can do revolve protrusion 360 degrees if you click on that it has been revolved you can click on finish now you have your part I'll hide the sketch now because it doesn't look good now I'll just hide it right click hide okay so now we had to do this fillet here this is the other method I'm showing now 
this method after creating the body you can go to the round option and then select radius 1 mm and then you can select this edge and then tick finish so now we have done that fillet also so this is the first part of the screw jack assembly that is the body so now we'll save it save as okay i'll make a new folder i don't want this let it be i'll name it one part one i named it one body okay, i'll just save it now okay i'll catch you in the next video bye bye